Hey everybody, I'm John and this is Blind Whiskey Reviews. Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me today here on Blind Whiskey Reviews, the most honest reviews on YouTube. As always, if you're liking these videos, don't forget, hit that subscribe button down below and click the bell notification. That way you know every time I'm uploading a new video and every time I'm starting a new live stream. And if you like the video, don't forget, give me a thumbs up. That way YouTube knows you like the video and other people might like it too. Today we're gonna to do a review of Woodford Reserve Double Oak, and I'm excited to do this one for you because this has typically been my favorite expression out of the regular line, of the regular Woodford Reserve line. Um, the Double Oak is uh, aged in a second oak barrel after they pull it out of the first, so you definitely can kind of anticipate what we're gonna get from a second aging in a brand new charred oak barrel. So I'm excited to do this review for you, so let's not waste any more time, and let's jump back in time before I knew what I was drinking and get to the review. All right, everybody, let's get into the whiskey. Wow. Wow, 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 this is dark. If there's any whiskey that I've ever called mahogany, this is it, if it's even whiskey. This could be rum at this, this darkness. Whoo, it's a butterscotch bomb right now. Tons of dark characters, I mean, just this deep, dark butterscotch molasses. It doesn't quite smell like rum, but it's definitely got a few of those like rum-like notes to it. There's a hint of fruit in there. I mean, really just this overwhelming like butterscotchy kind of character. I am very excited to get into this one. And dang, is it dark. Let's get into this whiskey. Cheers. There is definitely some dark charry notes on this, some dark sweetness, that molasses, that butterscotch. I mean, it's very similar to the nose with an addition of some char characters. I mean, there's definitely some, some like barrel char flavor in here. And it definitely doesn't come across as quite as robust as I thought that it would. Dang, is it dark. Yeah. It doesn't taste smoky, it's just if that makes sense, it is just super charry on the back. Like strangely charry, like. It almost goes into a like a bitter coffee note. Definitely coffee, yeah. With this like butterscotch and char, it definitely just brings on this like coffee character. If you like coffee, you'd probably enjoy this. There's more sweetness on the nose than there is in the palate. This is definitely not very sweet. It's got a very mild sweetness to it. It's much more bitter, savory feeling on the palate. One more taste. Yeah, bitter coffee, definitely bitter coffee on the back. You know, for me, I mean, some might like this character. I'm not loving this char character. It's, it's relatively overwhelming in this whiskey. 
not overwhelming. It's just very bold in the whiskey, and it's not something that I particularly enjoy. I mean, I, a little bit of it's nice. There's just too much of it here. The whiskey's not bad. I mean, I enjoy the richness of the whiskey, the mouthfeel of the whiskey. Proof-wise, I mean, this feels, this feels like another 90 to 95 proofer, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, I'm just baffled by this char character. I mean, I've had this experience before, and it almost feels like it's, like there's extra char add to it, like maybe it's charcoal filtered or something, but I don't really know what to think of this whiskey. It's strange. Definitely different. If you like deep, dark, rich notes, it definitely has some of those, but then again, it gets this bitter, it gets really whipped around the back end when this bitter, woody char comes in. I won't call it smoky though, because it's definitely not smoky. Anyways, I don't know what to think of this thing. I mean, it, I would guess it has more age on it based on the color and how much of this woody, deep char character is there. I'm going to say there's definitely some age on this thing. Um, I'm not loving the balance of flavor. I wish there was some more, a little bit more sweetness. I wish there was a little bit more complexity on the front end of it and a little bit less of this char character. Um, I don't think it's bad whiskey. For me, I'm going to give it I'm gonna give it an 80. I think it's decent. I think there's some good things there. I think maybe it needs to open up a little bit. As with all my reviews, and I should say this more, but as with all my reviews, this is a very freshly opened bottle. This bottle has not been opened more than, my wife poured this whiskey probably in the last 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So it definitely has not been opened long. So this bottle perhaps needs some air time to open up and kind of balance out a little bit. But for right now, I'm gonna give it an 80. I just wish there was more there, like I said before. So I'm very intrigued to find out what this is. This is a very strange whiskey. This is barrel finish select. Oh, Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. All right. Well, now, now it's making some sense why it tastes like that. So <laughs> let me go grab that bottle and we'll talk about it a little bit more. All right. We just finished our review of the Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. Bottled at 45.2% alcohol by volume, 90.4 proof. And this is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey finished in a second oak barrel. So, as I read on the bottle, this is their standard Woodford recipe. And they throw it in another barrel for a period of, a, I think it's only a few months in this case. I don't think it's an extremely long amount of time, but I would definitely have to look that up. I don't remember. But I think it's not a long period of time, but they definitely put it in a second new charred oak barrel. And that's where all that char flavor I was telling you was coming from. And it's, in the past when I've tried this whiskey, it does not have so much char on it. There's a little bit of it, but there's definitely a lot of that standard Woodford Reserve sweetness to go along with it, and it's much more balanced. So I think maybe this bottle has a little bit of extra char. I don't know what the case may be, but it's usually better than this. So you saw I gave it a relatively low score, and I would say in general, for me, this whiskey is better than what I reviewed today. So take it with a grain of salt. Um, I'm definitely gonna see what happens to this whiskey once it opens up. We're definitely gonna do another speedy sample review of this whiskey after it's been open for a few months, so we can kind of see if it opens up or not. I've definitely, in the past, get a lot more coffee and chocolate and sweetness on this whiskey that wasn't here today and i think that really hurt the whiskey because it really wasn't well balanced when it comes to like that sweetness bitterness char level it was just overwhelmingly kind of bitter charry and it took over all those other nice flavors that you'd normally get on here the nose smelled fantastic on this in the sense that it had like a lot of the characters you normally get the butterscotch, the chocolate, the like all the, the, the sweetness was there on the nose and it just didn't come across on the palate. So we'll see what happens with this bottle with a little bit of airtime, but I would say in general, this is a better whiskey than what I said it was today. So take that with a grain of salt. This whiskey generally goes for the 40 in the 45 to $50 range. So it's a reasonable value, a little bit lower proof for that price point. Typically, you get a lot of robust flavor out of it, so you know it could be worth it. And for me, it's worth it around that like 40 to 45 mark. I can sometimes find this for about 40 bucks, and at that price point, I would definitely say it's worth picking up. Above that, 
you got to make sure it's in your wheelhouse and then decide if you want to pay that kind of money for it. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the Woodford Reserve Double Oaked in the comments down below. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at blind underscore reviews. And you can send me an email at blind whiskey reviews with whiskey with an E at gmail.com. And until next time, cheers. Thank you.